Hello guys and thank you for tuning in. This is One Orbit, a channel dedicated to filmmaking, tech reviews, and storytelling in general. Today we have a brand new firmware update for the Sony a7S III. It's the version 2.0. They stated that the S Cinetone picture profile was now available for the Sony a7S III. Today we're going to go through that entire process from downloading the software updater, the firmware, and then also prepping the Sony a7S III before you plug it into your laptop and connect it. This whole update firmware update process will be done through the computer, through a laptop. Just a couple key points that I wanna highlight are, you really wanna make sure that you have a fully charged battery in your Sony a7S III. You wanna make sure that before you connect it to your laptop, that you have no memory card in the actual camera. It's really important to not have any interruptions during this update process. And that also goes for, for your laptop. So making sure that you don't have any other applications open this is just to ensure that your update process for the firmware will, will run seamlessly and, and smoothly for you. So before we begin the process of downloading and installing the firmware update, the instructions state to go into your camera and actually verify the current firmware version that your, your camera is running basically. So I'm going to turn the camera on. I'm going to press the menu button and dive into the menu system here. So. I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom icon. It looks like a briefcase, suitcase icon. Just going to the right, scrolling all the way down again to this setup option. And on the right here, you can see the, the option for version. So just, again, going right, scrolling back down, pressing OK. And like here, just verifying that I have the version 1.01. .01 I'm confirmed to go basically to, to update to the version 2.0. Another note is do not allow your computer to go into sleep mode during this time. So what I did is I went ahead into my system settings and basically disabled sleep mode just so that there are no interruptions during this update procedure. So I provided the link to the actual firmware download in the description. So here you'll see two options, one for Windows and then one for Mac. I'm going to be downloading the Mac version. The key note is that Mac OS Big Sur is not supported. And here you can see we have the P11S Cinetone picture profile. Along with a couple ads and notes that they have, you know, you have ad support for steady shots active during recording with movie with S and Q frame rate. And it also states that it improves the overall stability of the camera. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the download can agree to this user license agreement click the download button again you'll see that initialize and it's going to download this DMG file here for us that should finish downloading in a couple seconds now I'm going to right click show on finder and find that DMG file that we just downloaded so also it's important to copy that to your desktop you can double click once you have that copied over and that will just open this update window and you can click this update settings tool icon basically you'll get this pop-up window so I'm going to click open and it's going to prompt us to type in our administrative username and password you can click OK so now we have the system extension blocked icon um, you want to go ahead and open your system security preferences and it will take us to our security and privacy option. So I'm going to click on this lock icon. Again, typing in my username and password to unlock and make changes. And now we want to go down to the bottom here. Developer Sony Imaging Products and Solutions was blocked from loading. So now we want to click that allow button and then we can just relock our security window. Once we X out of that, this will take us back to our update settings tool. We have a little pop-up here, so stating that we're not authorized to send Apple events to system preferences. I'm not sure what this is, so I'm gonna click OK. And I'm just gonna double click this settings tool icon, username and password once again. And now we are ready to go. We'll get this pop-up that says, connect the device to the computer with the USB cable. So before you even install or connect the Sony a7S III to your laptop, it's important to take out the memory card. 
and make sure there are no cards in either uh, slot on the Sony A7S III and just confirming that you see this icon on the upper left corner that there's no card in the actual camera and this is just as a precaution to make sure there's no interruptions or anything that would you know interrupt that firmware update process. So now that you have the software update installer set up and ready to go on your laptop we're going to go back into the menu system here on the Sony a7S III. You know we're still in our setup option icon here at the very bottom so we're going to that number 10 USB option and then we're going to go to the USB connection option here at the very top. So going into that you have three options basically set so you have your auto, mass storage, MTP. So the instructions clearly state you want to select this USB connection option to mass storage. So having that selected here you are now able to proceed with the next steps of actually connecting the Sony A7S III to your laptop. So this will initiate the whole firmware installation process. And just connecting that cable to your camera and connecting the other end of the USB-C to USB cable into your laptop. Turn on the Sony A7S III. Make sure you are not connecting the camera to the computer unless prompted to by the update installer and making sure that you're not turning the camera off, unplugging it or anything like that during the actual update of the, the firmware. So now that we have our camera connected to the computer, you'll see the system software updater basically initialize. So we have a couple of notes here. Complete the following procedures to connect the update target camera to the computer with the USB cable. We can just click next. And it's just verifying the connection of the camera and now it's prompting us to look on the bottom left hand corner of the screen to confirm our current firmware version and the version that we're going to be updating to the 2.0. So we can click next and now basically the camera will restart automatically. At this point do not disconnect the camera, do not disconnect the cable from the laptop, anything, do not turn the camera off. The, the system software updater is basically taking it from this point. It will turn your camera off as this whole installation procedure begins to initialize. And basically here you can just, you know, let it run and do its thing. So all the precautions have been taken up until this point. We don't have anything running in the background. We don't have anything that's going to interrupt this installation process, this update pr procedure. So here we just let it run and I believe the time frame or estimate they, they state is 30 minutes. So just some behind the scenes here as the uh, installer's updating camera here you can see is plugged into my laptop. So I'm just speeding up the system updater. And in total after going through this procedure it was a little bit less than 30 minutes. I would say about 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, you'll see the progress bar finish up ready to go and then you will now be able to click this finish button here on the bottom right corner. And there you go. So now that the installation process is all finished up and ready to go, we're going to turn the Sony A7S III back on, diving back into our menu system. From the steps previous we had that USB connection set to mass storage, so we're just going to cycle out of this option going from 10 now to number 12, the setup option, and just confirming our version that we are currently updated to. So version 2.0 of the firmware, everything's looking good to go. So now I'm gonna show you how to go through and set that picture profile to that as Cinetone. So going up to the third icon from the top, you can see that number five option, color and tone. So that's where we're going to select our picture profile here on the right. That last option, and then just gonna cycle back down to our different picture profiles. You know, our PP8 is our S-Log3, and now having the very bottom option, that PP11 Cinetone option. So I click that, and now we are good to go. So I'm going to go through and show you some B-roll basically. Uh, more specifically, today I'm taking you to Pfizer Forum at a basketball game. So 
we're going to see some you know mixed lighting situations and we're really going to get a feel for what this cinetone option is able to do with skin tones and um, some harsher lighting situations let's switch over and check that out You know, just looking back at the Ascenatone, yeah, I think it's really going to offer some some flexibility in post-production and really what I've been seeing ever since I got the Sony a7S III was, you know, I'm excited for just the different color grading options and flexibilities that are available to us just moving forward. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. Like, subscribe, hit that bell. And I got some exciting content coming for you guys in the future. So be on the lookout for that. And um, I have been your One Orbit Captain. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.